people in the congregation we have gathered here today to witness part two of the fall of the once great Jen Kazama. You see it at the bottom. I've been having a rough go. I've won two of the last ten. And that last one was a long fucking time ago. Now you see the amount of time I put into this video? 21 minutes. 21 minutes of ass kicking at my expense. As you see I have a demotion match. So I, this is a direct carryover. I have not changed any of the footage. I am showing you my losses because I deserve for you to see this. So right now we're going against Kazumi, one of my characters. I like her. She's um, you know, she's pretty. She's pretty straightforward, and you know, but she can fuck you up just like that. That was a great combo. I blocked the statue kick. I don't know the punish. I mean, I'll know the punish, but I didn't know it then. And at this point, I feel like... This is the point where I was like, man, Jen is not cutting it anymore. I need to drop Jen immediately after this game if I lose. You know, can't punish that. You know, this is the first time me seeing my footage. I can realize the flaws in my game when I'm not playing. There's no electrics. There's no, like, movement up close. I'm backdashing too far away, so now I have to come to her. I need to stay in the range where my 2-1 uh, hits and not where, like, she can, like, instant running 3. Not me, instant running 2. Like that. I sidestep that. That's good movement. But, like, I feel like I stand still too much. And that's one flaw I have. But I get around often. So, you know what? Things are looking up. I can tell that I can I can beat this this map. But I'm I'm uh, look at that. That I should be dead. That should be me at the wall. I'm getting chances. It's just that with the That's a great punish for that. Like with those chances that I get, like, I'm fucking up. Like I'm not doing electric I'm not doing electric uppercut. That's how fucking horrible it is. I usually do those on reaction. I may I may not be able to do the hook for some reaction, but I can do I can do uh, uppercut on reaction. I haven't been doing it all day. Right now I got two rounds. This is a demotion match. I need to win this. I go to, I go down to brawler. I feel like a horrible person, and I get hit by that shit. That that just symbolizes the day. Me getting hit by moves that I shouldn't be getting hit by. That's not a good punish. It's one two, uh, while saying one two is to punish the stature kick from uh, Kazumi. If I had Kazuya, I could twin piss in it. That's the mix up right there though. Swipe, swipe, grab. I need to break those. Anyway, final game. I'm feeling really bad. We, I have to win this for the culture. And I'm seeing the flaws. Is there she she hasn't blocked low once, I don't believe. But you know, I didn't see that during the time. And um I should I could like, you know, parry that, but you know. Why do that? So, you know, she got the tiger out. Now we're in this range. I need to be a little bit closer. Good sidestep, could have launched, but you know. I didn't feel like it. Could have launched that. Didn't feel like it. Could've launched that. <laughs> like, that's that's three times. Fuck. She gets me with the grab. I'm really scared at this point. I'm like really nervous. I'm like really nervous. Thankfully she doesn't move when I hit the rage. I gotta stop doing that too. When I get low health and I get away, I just start looking for it. I just start looking. I just start looking. Like a rabbit dog. Looking for that rage drive. I need to stop doing that. And that's clutched out many a game. But, um, my demotion match is gone now, <coughs> which means I'm obviously going to lose this game. So, we're going in again. He starts changing up the game plan a little bit. Could have launched that. He starts changing it up a little bit, or I just became worse over the span of 10 seconds. Because I think I get molly this game, if I remember correctly. He starts putting in the lows to, um... 
his flight mix up, which is good. I could just knock him out of flight if he doesn't hit the knee beforehand into the uppercut. Like, if he does it for long range, I should be able to just, like, jab him out of here for that, you know. I didn't think of that shit. Hindsight's 2020, 20, boys. Hindsight's 2020. 20. See, the reason I'm not high energy for this one is because I know what's going I know, I mean, I've lived through this. <laughs> this pain. This, this, this is more than pain. You're at Vanguard, and you go all the way down to Marauder in a night. That's pretty bad. That makes you, that makes me feel like, <laughs> I think that would make any player feel like, man, I fucking suck at this game. Like, even if you have some of the highest confidence, if you're playing against, like, people that are like at your skill level or a little bit lower and you just make mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake right and you lose those games it makes you feel like you're like your shit it makes you feel horrible like why am i even playing this character why am i even playing this game why am i even? like it makes you think those things and that's not the way that you should play you shouldn't play scared especially in tekken where like shit can go down really fast and right here I'm playing scared like I'm playing jittery like I'm just doing moves I'm not thinking about the moves like I know like 10 frame punish I got that could have punished that wait could I have probably not I don't, I don't know that's it eh, I gotta relook at the frame data for that but um I could well I lost that ba -ba 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 -ba. there we go like Comment down below if you've played a video game and like you just lost constantly. Like just for one night. It doesn't have to be like over spans of nights. And there was my electric. It doesn't have to be like over spans of nights or like throughout your whole career with the game. But just for one night and you just kept losing. And you just kept getting your ass beat. How did you feel after that? Because right now, I'm feeling like the worst Tekken player in the world. I'm feeling like I don't even deserve to be green ranks. I deserve to be blue, maybe, in the Kiryu's. Because, like, I just make mistake after mistake. And I love this game. Everyone on my channel knows I love this game. I adore this game. This game is my life. And just getting beat... It really, really fucks with you. It really fucks with you. But back to the match. Right now, the last game. I need this for my confidence. And that was the one time he opened me up with that. The knee into the uppercut. I could have launched that. But I didn't. So anyway, we're going in. I catch the hot kick. I get the sidewall. I get the plus frames. He didn't move. I didn't move. I could have, oh, I should have jabbed after that. That's, that's what happens when you play scared. And... The wall hit me perfectly to where that hit. And I died. And I deserve to lose. Because I made mistake after motherfucking mistake. And now we are back into the demotion ranks. This is it. This is this is my pride on the line. And we're not even halfway into the fucking video. <laughs> so I get the sweep. I you know, simple combo. There you go. I forgot you can't launch that. I should just, you know, uh, while standing for that. So, I'm trying to play in, in, in her range. But these aren't the games where I figured that out yet. Like, I think it's like the next set of games is where it's like, you know what? Let me tighten up. See, I'm moving too far. I'm too far away from her at that point. So, at, so now, I would have to come to her. Yeah, I won that game. But... You don't you don't want to come towards Kazumi, like, like you like I'm at the range where I have to come towards her and she could close the distance really fast and that's not you know, like I want to be in that mid range, probably at like where where I can whiff punish easy and still hit the the two one, like and like where I'm back that to is no man's land and I'm ducking. Why am I ducking? Why am I ducking? Stack your kick wouldn't have killed me. Why am I ducking? So, I'm playing tentative now, again. Trying to find something 
And he's he's tightening up. He is hitting me with the jab. That's what you're supposed to do with Kazumi. Hit with the jab and fish. Fish for something. Fish for a counter hit. Like that. He didn't confirm off that. You know. Ah oh, man, this makes me so sad. I could have won. I like I know I'm I know I'm probably better than this player. Is that my morale was so shook after the other game? Is that you know now at that point you can't really be like, all right, I will do it now. You know, that's not how that's not how confidence works. So this is his. This is he's on uh, game point. I'm on my fucking reputation point. I need to win this game. So you know what happens when I need to win games. You'll see. Anyway, I tried to. I'm doing hop kick now because I'm so scared. I don't know why that didn't hit. I did hop to kick again. Right punish. And I am down to Brawler. Fuck. And now we have an Asuka entering the scene. My morale is shook because ain't no such things as halfway crooks. And right now I'm a halfway crook. Like sometimes I steal a game, but you know, most of the times I don't. And plus I'm going against Asuka. A character I don't really know, you know. Things are looking good for good old Gil. Anyway, we are in neutral now. I'm trying to hit it with the 214. Most people press buttons after that in the green ranks. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, most people press buttons after that in the green ranks, so you get that pretty simple. Asuka's an interesting character. Like, I've always wanted to learn Asuka since Tekken 5, but, like, I never got the, the chance. Look at that! That is a hell of a punish. You know, I could have saved it for, for, you know, for when I had an actual kill combo, but, you know. Can't hurt everything. So now, she gets a game. I'm trying to hit her with a poke. She blocks low. I mean, simple stuff here. Anyway. You know, I'm trying, I'm, like, I'm trying to, ooh, that counter. Like, I'm trying to bait out the counters and that. Like, I'm trying to bait out counters and I'm trying to sidestep that. Cause that big fucking hell is. Like, look at this. I don't deserve to win these games. I'm getting steamrolled. Like, I just like at this point, I deserve to be a brawler. Because I'm not doing the requisite thing. That's what I was trying to bait out. I could launch punish that. So you know, whatever. I I didn't feel like launch punishing this night. So I'm getting my ass. Handed to me, handedly, and, and like I deserve all of these, all of these punishes that he's giving me. I deserve them. I deserve to miss that, and I deserve to duck after that because why not? And look at, look at that low parry. That, wow, horrible, terrible, just terrible. And now, we need to turn it around now, or else I'm going now to Grandmaster, a rank I don't ever want to be at again. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to be in the same hell I told you about when I first started this game, when I couldn't get out of blue ranks in Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I don't want to do that. We need to win games, and we need to win them now. I stay on the ground, because usually, you know, they don't hit me off the ground. So, you know, why, why move? Boom, boom. That should kill. But it didn't. That tackle does. You always want to tackle Asuka. Come on now. Who wouldn't want to tackle Asuka, really? You're on top of her. She's in a vulnerable position. I'm a weirdo. Anyway, I win one game. We got to win more of these. Nice block. This, actually, this man has good, like, he had a good read on my lows. When I would throw him out, he would usually block the stature kick, but maybe not the out of the crouch dash. He would always block that. Oh, could have launched. Could have launched. Is that sick? I don't know. But, um, yeah, it, in this state, I'm like, you know, he was trying to go for that. I think he had a setup for that. He do that and didn't do that or White Mountain. And, um, if you block, you get hit by the, the clap. And if you stand, you get hit by White Mountain. I mean, you can easily, like, just break White Mountain, but I don't know how to do that. So, it's a true mix-up for me. 
see that's that's an example of what I was talking about. I had the advantage, I could have went in, but I'm so scared that I stayed back and allowed him to get a tackle. But I get the second game. I mean the third game. I need this match against a, a decent player. He's a decent player. I need it. And I need it now. I want it. And I want it now. And I'm playing like I want it. Well, not then. He blocked. <laughs> like, I didn't I didn't play like I wanted, just going for the axe kick after that. I'm 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 hitting the the, the knee a lot because that you know she can't parry knees. So that's a good thing to do against Asuka. She can't parry knees or elbows. So if you have like move like Brian, like it's it's hard to parry Brian with Asuka because he does a lot of elbows. Same thing with uh, with Jin. He has a lot of knees. And I ducked. I ducked and got fucked up. There we go. Final game. I'm feeling really bad if I lose this match. He he had a good he has a good read on low. So now it's time to mix it up. We do the uppercut. Once you get used to the low, guess what? The uppercuts come out. Now we have him at the wall. Good duck. Like he must play Jen or something, but I get the uppercut and I get the dub. My confidence is restored. If only for one Can you do that? Anyway, back. We, you know, we doing You know what's you know what's funny? I just realized this. <clears throat> when I was losing and I would go for like a revenge match, they'd they'd ready up right away. But when I win, they magically disappear for some reason. You know. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Take from that what you will. <coughs> there he goes for the mix up again and you know, I deserve to get hit by that. Good thing to get rid of it now than later, but the comeback. The comeback. See I'm fishing for it again, see? And I get the result that I deserve to get. Like it's I'm fishing for it. I should be like Dashing up in his face and making him guess. But, like, I think the reason I do it so much innately is because it gives you a free mix up. Like, it gives you something that's free and they have to guess. But <clears throat> when they. When this guy has good reactions like this, it's not a good strategy to do that. Because when you dash back, they always know, okay, Rage Drive's coming. I don't have to worry about anything else. I just have to worry about this mix-up. He hasn't done White Mountain yet. I think he does it once this game. Should have worth punished that. But I get the win anyway. Good time. So, um... Now, you know, just trying to focus on Asuka. I think that was... Oh, wait, that wasn't White Mountain. But, um... I could have broken that. That was a regular grab. I think I was going to, to break, uh... Her, uh her command throw. He's he's fishing for it. He is fishing. And I'm I'm trying to there he gets I think he gets it no yeah I duck. I don't know why he kept going for it, maybe because it worked. The boom ah oh, I thought I'd get it. I hit him. There you go. Those Jim's axe kick is great. It's slow but if you do it on like people who are scared to do wake up buttons you just hit them on the ground, or if they get up, you get plus frames. That was White Mountain. There it is. Boom. Into mix-ups. And I get tackled. That sucks. I get the grab. Now I'm on, I'm on the side that I hate. But I wanted to take it in this side. I wanted to take it. <laughs> and he whiffed, and I hit. That's a good game. My confidence is kind of restored. This is the last game. It is his promotion match. And as you know, Victor Freeze likes to play spoiler. Now, this is Akuma. Well, you know, people say he's bad. He's not. The guy playing Akuma, I can't speak for, but Akuma in itself isn't bad. He's actually gives me, he actually gives me the most trouble. 
him and like uh you know Shaoyu and shit like that because like he does damage if the if the person you're facing has execution and he knows what the fuck he's doing he does damage and not just pussy damage he does real life fuck you damage but um you know this guy he has a promotion match so he's here for a reason he has the master of the iron fist you know what that means if you play Tekken it means you beat story mode on the hardest difficulty there is but I don't give a fuck about that I'm harder than I'm harder than than story mode you have to, you have to face me I get that low I just wanted to think about it you know so I hit that low right and I didn't capitalize because think about it <laughs> nah I just fucked up anyway last game I'm playing spoilers here we go what the fuck was he trying I think he was trying to do red fireball but whatever but um anyway I think I should end it right here you know how this game is it's victor fucking freeze and it's time to rise like a phoenix see you next time